The Telebot project um, all started with um, a donation from Jeremy Robbins. Um, he's a lieutenant from the U.S. Navy, and he gave uh, $20,000 out of his own pocket money. And so with that good motivation and um, good intentions, we also wanted to put all our effort. Today, we see the uh, prototype of the Telebot with all the functionalities implemented. It's a six feet tall, and it weighs about uh, 75 pounds. Well, Telebot, are a veteran um, from a different location. They can move the arms um, through um, sensors. Um, they can also turn the head. The head has um, a, a vision system uh, where it has live video streaming. So whatever the robot the sees... The hands yeah. were not sort of um, working properly and the students, you know, started looking at what could be the problem. We want to make sure Telebot should be easily operatable. That means without touching a keyboard and mouse or joystick, we want to make sure use a simple hand, free hand gestures, free hand head movement. The, the remote controller can uh, move the Telebot's hands um, as well as its arms, elbows, wrists, shoulders. It can move a wide range of motion for all of them. Our next step is to fabricate the external shell of the robot and to tune up the software automate the software, and finally do the field testing. The Telebot project um, all started with um, a donation from Jeremy Robbins. Um, he's a lieutenant from the U.S. Navy, and he gave uh, $20,000 out of his own pocket money. And so with that good motivation and um, good intentions, we also wanted to put all our effort. Today, we see the uh, prototype of the Telebot with all the functionalities implemented.